Hi, I'm Alex Becker. I'm with Coalition, and I'm here to warn you about the data integrity pitfalls in Django. So the first pitfall is auto commit by default. Queries are committed as soon as they're executed. So suppose we implement some toy service for tracking API limits. We have this simple Django view. It gets a call counter, increments the number of calls, and then saves it. But what happens if another view modifies the same counter between lines three and five? Well, not only will any changes they make to counter.calls get overridden, but every other field on the instance will get reset because every field gets loaded into memory, and then it just makes an update with every field by default. So save yourself, set atomic requests to true in your Django config. The second pitfall is that get or create and its cousin update or create are not necessarily atomic. So suppose we create call, uh, call counters on demand. We have basically the same function here, uh, except I've replaced get with get or create so that if a uh, call counter is not found, it will create it. Uh, what happens if two requests are made to increment calls at the same time, assuming we even have atomic requests on? Well, let's look at the docs. Uh, if you go a full page down in the docs for get or create, you see this method is atomic, assuming correct usage, correct database configuration, and correct behavior of the underlying database. That's a lot of ifs. Uh, get or create actually relies entirely on the database to prevent duplicates. It just does some exception fallback handling for you. So only use get or create or update or create when uniqueness is enforced via database constraints. Third big pitfall is that validation is inconsistently enforced. Now one of the nice things about Django is you have all this validation out of box. You can set uniqueness, you can set choices, you can validate that a string is formatted like a date and save it in your database. Um, but these aren't always enforced. So this still works, for instance. Obviously, Canada is not a US state, and date time probably does not understand star dates. Um, so what's happening here is that Django expects model instances to be updated through forms, even though the projects I've worked on rarely do this. Um, so if you're not going to use forms, you have to call model.fullclean, which reminds me a lot of MySQL real escape string. Um, or you have to add check constraints to your database manually, because the models, uh, if, you, if you run a migration after adding a choices constraint to your models, it's not going to generate a check constraint in the database. It's actually a bonus from having this kind of failing validation or skipped validation. Uh, that invalid date time that we saved, when you load a instance back from the database, uh, that's going to be none, but it's not none in the database. So you get uh, real puzzles like this. Uh, this was actually at the root of, uh, of a bug that took me like several days to track down. Because the first line, when you're querying is null, that's run on the database, and the database doesn't think created at is null. But then when you load it, uh, Django treats it exactly like it were null. All right, that's all I have. Um, this is adapted from a longer rant that's on my blog. <laughs> I, am, I am actually available in person for in-person rants right now. Um, and also, uh, I work at Coalition, we're hiring. If you're looking for a job with Python and cybersecurity, come talk to me. Awesome.